If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over, regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. It's just that their constant complaining can begin to wear. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. It's infuriating. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. about Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's got to be all alone.
Think we could take that ship and race? Gotta be where Mr. Jameson is. I hope he's okay. That's one down. Clever. Sweeping.
passes with you, boss. Nice to get a little fresh air in your lungs. Right on it. Look at this place. You get you care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is they haven't been able to escape, neither. For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. The garage and the front door are it. These bastards got in through the vent system, but we locked that down. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Why you want to know that? What for? Fair point. Here's a key card to my office. Head left from here and downstairs. It's across from the cafeteria. I got a machine that makes pass cards for us. Just don't knock over any paperwork in there. I got a system. I don't have time for this. So...
Nice. Great work. I'll investigate. Heads up, boss. It's been ransacked already.
work. Those innocent guns slaughtered. Hey! You! Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. So you lied about not knowing Crane. I suppose I do not blame you. We liberated that research. We did not steal it. And yes, a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. Semantics. If I were consigned to spending my days making diet toothpaste, I would pray for a bullet to my skull. It is my one bargaining chip. If you want this research, you will help me out of this mess. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with you. If you can talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. Take your time.
don't have time for this. Jackass isn't coming! Heading out.
damn turncoat. We saw everything. You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You got one minute. Starting now. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. I gotta believe that all we done will mean something to the company, to Doc Crane. That effort will make up for mistakes. I trust that we all end up where we're supposed to be. That all the variables come together in the end. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. Ask away. Sell it, of course. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic science, assuming I make it out of this place alive. the lab. What's left there that's worth dying for? That no-account fool Porter and his crew are even more worthless than I could have imagined. They've abandoned their posts. This is madness.
That's all manner of distressing. There truly is nothing left for me. Did you find my colleague, Jameson? Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. Not in this colony, there isn't. But success here will get me to Byzantium. I'll have recognition, money, proper facilities. It's the only place to lead a life of meaning in the system. Carry on.